Welcome back, guys. Here we go. It is time for some search and destroy. Strictly business down 1-0 to evil geniuses. But if they're going to get a game to come back in this series, it's going to be in this game mode, S&D. And you were asking as well before the break whether EG were going to, you know, veto out Warhawk. They left it in because that's the map we're going to be going to, Pucket. So EG, you know, they're feeling confident. And I really liked Fizzurp's uh, answers in the pregame interview. He right. said, we're not going to try and veto maps that they are, are weak in. We're going to try and... Veto maps that play off their we're strengths, not basically. good. Yeah, yeah, they want to play, play off it for their, their strengths, strengths, not EG's weaknesses. And that's a sign of a confident player. It, it, it really is. And Aix has that same strategy. So I'm not surprised, honestly, to see Strike Zone and Warhawk back in this series. Yep. Doesn't surprise me at all. But the big question, can Stainville... This is, this is who I'm looking at because he had a phenomenal game last time with that sniper rifle. Is he going to put up similar numbers again? Obviously, you have to keep your eyes out on Fizzup, averaging double-digit kills so far in Search and Destroy. And there you see the overview of Search and Destroy. Warhawk, and if you're new to competitive course, you obviously a little bit about Search and Destroy, one life around, best of 11 rounds, and you alternate between attack and defense. You can see that's where the bomb sites are, but I think we should, uh, who's going to kick things off here? We got two snipers in this game off the break. Stainville versus Krim 6 is the battle I'm looking out for. All right, well, we'll uh, have a look at Krim, one of the best snipers on the game. And he fight no, he's just if he gets first blood they're here for evil geniuses. Krim <laughs> going for the hardest peak shot possible. And let me turn off that Oracle mode so you can see exactly what he spots. Well at this point Stainville's actually left in one on yeah, four. So. TP is just gonna come in here. Oh and Stainville gets a knife, but Krim will answer back with that sniper finally. I get the shot I was hoping to see. Krim hunting it down as Stainville shanks Teep. He's going to finish him with a shot to the chest. 1-0 EG thanks to TP's rush as he gets the opening two kills. Yeah, it was big, big plays coming in from TP. However, now it's going to be EG on the attacking side. Are we going to see an A push? I think we probably will. Yep, they're going to try and catch SB off guard with a very, very aggressive A push. But SB realizing no one crossed. Dedicating two plays to defend that A site. And one also in the form of Stainville. He's actually going to push towards the flank. So keep your eyes out on him. It's basically in the pack of American here. Working with TP. And it looks like first shot's going down. Grim's going to get dropped by Spacely. TP did get hit markers. And Karma's going to buy a grenade. Actually, that's John with the Remington from behind. TP having to dip out with this bomb and it looks like player at the top that's going to be Aix pushing in. It's all left to TP as Aix is able to trade with Spacely. However, things are not looking good. One on three. Nice defensive stand from Strictly Business. I mean the one good thing going for TP right now with 38 seconds left is he has got the bomb in hand. So he has the freedom to move whichever side he wants. It's going to be a place to left hand side. It's not going to be able to get that. Stainville cleans him up and also levels it up. Interestingly, after two rounds, Fizzup still yet to get a kill bucket. And I don't think we can read too much into that because, you know, s &D is totally a situational game. He might just True. be watching an area and the other teammates having a better opportunity. He only has one death through the two rounds as well. Let's see what he's up to, though, with the vector. He's got his double smokes. This is what he's known for. Throws out one. That's going to cover that mid-street. Second one should probably be going down near this bomb. And already, again, two players on B. Krim hitting the first shot, the headshot on Stainville in the sniper duel. Let's go over to Krim as he's reloaded for a second pop. Oh, I love this play. Fizzip using Ankog recognizes he can. He should be a little bit more aggressive. Covering him. He should be able to get that kill. Does. Backs off wisely. Very, very weak, though. Shots going down from absolutely everywhere. He needs some help from his teammates. He can climb up. Meanwhile, though, Spacely is going to pick up one. Actually picked up two, and John's there to get the cleanup. So Spacely and John, both three kills apiece. Looking pretty good for SB so far. And I like seeing John get fired up here, man. He's smacking hands. Getting his team riled up in that booth. EG, after taking the first round, they lose two in a row. Krim, he's getting first buds, though, and that's something dangerous. Whenever you got a sniper in this guy's hands, he is so lethal. Pistol, he's going to try and race to the white truck. We'll see if Stanville wants to meet him for a third battle. That's that sniper rifle back out. Towards Lord Sauer, no one's rushing that. And there is a player on this mid street who might come get Stainville. That's Aix. Stainville's team, Aix behind enemy lines, is going to get one and dip out. Great move here from Evil Geniuses. And Stainville might be pushing in. Aix just waiting. 
There is a player on the other side of Tin. Meanwhile, Bomb down. TP planning that one. And Aix is going to get that kill inside Tin. TP and Aix looking to combine here. Aix is cleaned up. TP blind firing. Will he be able to connect? Yes, he will. Last player alive. It's going to be one on one as Spa or one on two, excuse me. Spacely taking out Karma hey, before getting picked <laughs> by Krim. Turns the corner and runs into a wild Krim six. Krim three and two. And his accuracy with that sniper rifle. Yeah, I mean, Look at where he's aiming. He's like he, he not even risking it. Right? He's like, I can hit this this headshot. It's half the size of his torso, no problem. Makes it look so easy. It's gonna level things up as well. On this search and destroy warhawk, two rounds apiece. As now we have SB on the attacking side, Spacely with that bomb, currently 4-4. Four and four. Physic, still after now 4 rounds, only has 1 kill, fuck it. Hey, look at this aggressive push, Spacely gonna get tagged up right away. John into some action over at American, there is more battles going down on Mid Street as well. And smoking himself to get out of here, Fizzer might be able to stay alive. He knows there's gonna be pressure from the gate, and look at this play from Fizz. He's confused everyone on EG, now spotting a player behind the tank. Problem is, he's absolutely surrounded. He has nowhere to go. He's gonna need some help from some of his teammates. He picks up one. He's actually gonna get out of there. What That's a it. play from Fizzer, man. He was dead to rights in that corner. He's completely pinned. Meanwhile, John, he's looking at pushing down that left side. Now he's just gonna pre-fire, destroys Crim6. Oh my lord. John does get cleaned up. Stainville trying to answer back. He does. Now a two-on-one versus T. Now, watch the way that Stainville and Fizzip are going to play this on that mini-map. I imagine Fizzip is just going to rotate straight towards Stainville and try and stay as close as they possibly can. Doesn't even matter. Fizzip cleans up TP. And, Big uh, round for Fizz. He got three there. I was, I was saying, you know, he only had one kill. He's now top of the team for three. And that just shows you Fizzip as a player. He can have one of those rounds where he just goes off. Now, all started. He gets pinned down by the player behind. Tank smokes himself. Acts like he's going to dip away. And in fact, he actually pushed up through that smoke. The incog smoke strategies really working well for him but now we're gonna see evil geniuses on the attack once again they're gonna send eggs up top to american to distract everyone else go and beat eggs has been very aggressive on that push actually look how far pushed he is he's actually on that a side pretty much he's just waiting meanwhile crim has put the sniper rifle away this round pulls out the remington keep an eye on eggs he is lit up on that mini map will he make a move he's gonna spot a player there's first blood Yep, nicely weighted out that. Very, very patient. And more importantly, that's going to put SB in a strange position because they know he's over there. And there's also smokes at B. It's pretty tough to decide where you want to dedicate yourself to. Fizzer cleans up TP. That LMG from Fizzer working well through the smoke. He knows where Krim is now. Just free fire and trying to get some hit markers. And Aix on that flank is the player to look out for. I have him lit up one more time on your minimap. Fizzer from Strictly Business on your screen. As it needs to pick up this kill. Time ticking, 23 seconds gone. Krim's gonna get that kill. Aix gets a kill on the flank. And that's gonna leave Stainville all by himself. It's a one on three. Not gonna happen. And that's gonna be three rounds apiece now. EG leveling it up. Here's Krim6 with your final kill cam. Once again, he is now five and three. His third round ending kill cam. This time with the Remington. Nicely played from Krim6. Aix, eight to four in this session of destroy as well, but so he really is playing very well. Or we can go B again, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a great flank from Aix on that last one. Strictly Business trying to decide where they want to go. It sounds like quick discussion. Can we go B? Nope, not going to happen. We're going A. Stainville trying to get a crack shot through the fence. Grenades going out on this treat from Fizzerp, and the first blood is going to be scored by Aix as he takes out Spacely. Yep, and I think Aix may get two kills. He does, and... That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to rush into American with, without being able to trade that off. And sadly, two plays from SB have gone down. They still have Fizzip and Stanger up. It's a two on three though. TP Krim and Aix. They don't know it, but this bomb, you can oh. get it down right now. Grenade stitches come in. They're assuming all players are out of nades. And they can't take too long because you're giving TP time to get an angle up top. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, Fizzip called for maybe a rotation to B because look at, he, he can see that mid street. He knows it's clear already. I think, no, he's going to rotate and try and come on the flank of G. Not going to happen. Karma's just going to save him now. In a 1v3, he goes to the challenge. The TP's there to clean him up. And EG now going to the lead. Four rounds to three. Four, three. This one tight. Yesterday, it was all strictly business. Today, 
very strong play here from Evil Geniuses, especially Aches, their captain, at 10 and 5. Yeah, 10 and 5 is a fantastic score to be putting up. It's a pretty important map as well because EG know they take this away from SB. That's pretty much the series. Here's a look at your mini map once again. One player's gonna go mid street. Aik's gonna be aggressive. Karma pulling out the sniper to open up this round as he picks off Stainville. Nicely played from him. Aik's on your screen is gonna have one player on that right hand side. Gets shut down before he could even react to that there. John, nice kill. Krim's gonna go for some wall banks. Nobody home though. Three versus three with 60 seconds left of this and round. There's a player in post. That's something to keep an eye on here. Potential for a flick. Definitely an ability to go after anyone who goes for the bomb plant. Grim just trying to check everywhere as he can, but visit was that player in posting he just called out, but get, he managed to get the kill on TP. Meanwhile, John heavily tagged up at the back. He just needs to try and stay alive. Wank is coming makes. in. John spots two, calls him out in post. Vizzerp gonna maneuver from up top of the house. Here's a great angle as he gets his second kill this round. Last man standing is Karma. Karma all by himself with the sniper rifle, misses the shot as well. So he's gonna reveal his position. He's pinned down pretty much. His physic was around post somewhere. John's gonna get the kill though. And high fives coming in from SB as they now level it up. Four Ooh. rounds apiece in this search is Troy It's getting pretty close. I'm loving it, man. Great plays from Fizzerp and Post. He used that smoke once again to get up close and personal. Poked out when he needed to. Had a nice route going up top and then catching the players that were trying to move towards that middle street. Krim said he's gonna grab bomb, but no, that must have been a, the voice of Spacely. We're gonna see uh we're gonna see a nice push here once again from Stainville to the white truck with the snipe. He's not gonna go for it. it looks like Remington this time, basically with that bomb here to support. Now they need to be careful though, because someone from EG this time is pushed in towards post. It's actually gonna be TP. And as well as that, Krim6 is pushed really far on that right hand side of the B bomb site. He's gonna need to try and win that gunfight. Stainville goes down. TP was getting tagged up, but stays alive in post. More kills going down on the opposite side of the map, and it looks like uh, you're going to see a little ring around the Rosie as Aigs was up there with Fizzer. Look at Fizzer as well on that top left of that mini map. Okay. All the way to that A site. It looks like he was going to try and call the rotation for Spacely, but Spacely. Now, if I'm Spacely, I don't even go for that. I try and get close to Fizzer. He goes down, he leaves that bomb in a horrible, horrible position. There's three EG players at that B site. Fizzer's trying to get over there. 29 seconds left. That Play. The smart play here is to rotate to A, try and get that bomb down because Fizzip's already gone through that A site. It's basically really taking Ooh, his time. Big knife here. It's basically in mid street. They need to decide As to do said, something. I don't know that, what he's doing. And TP's going to get the collateral. Spacely just did not know what to do bizarre. with that objective. That was really bizarre because as soon as Fizzip got to that A site, I would have thought, you know, considering how Fizzip normally plays SD, we would have said, all right, just go to A. Try and get that bomb to A, and then obviously when Spacey was trying to do that rotation, he saw a couple of plays in post, got a little bit distracted, then ended up in no man's land, and TP is going to say, thank Big you very much, I'll there. get that two-piece. Round win will secure the game for Evil Geniuses. If not, we're going to a tiebreaker round 11. Ben, go ahead and do some quick math on the scoreboard. I believe it looks like, without a doubt, EG is going to have defense. Yep, they will. Sniper out for Karma once again, looking into American. And will he see this player to the right? I'll turn off Oracle mode. This is what Karma sees. On mid street, we're going to see a nice slow push here from Aix as well as he's going to be looking for that first pick. And Karma, he's going for those blind shots. He's giving up his position, trying to draw someone out for Aix. Not going to happen yet. Very, very ambitious stuff from him. Aix does get shut down by John, though. We on four TP with that bomb. He's standing post. They have decent control of that B site. Smokes have gone down though. Wouldn't surprise me if that's Fizzip who just ran yeah, straight past TP. And if TP, if Fizzip moves to his yep. right, he's going to find a go. free kill. There it is. <laughs> Those pushes, they're just so clever and just so hard to counter. I'm just surprised he's the only one in this venue doing it. Right. I mean, how'd you counter that? If you're running Anghog and you throw the smoke and you're aggressive pushing through that smoke? That's so tough to counter, it really is. Fizzer spots him, calls it out to John. John trying to get an angle. Also, the flank coming in here from Spacely. Phenomenal teamwork. That is, was that 4 0 in that round? Yeah. Matt's still holding true, though. Uh, 12, 20. Maybe. 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 27. Maybe 
I think it's actually, is it equal? Yeah, we're going to see some EGD. I think it's equal. I think it's 27 to 27. All right, here we go. Yep, 27, Sanda. It, it is going to be EG on defense, though. So Fizzurp and the boys on the attack. They're going A. Only one player here to spot it from EG. They're all biting on B. Uh oh it's And eights. it's up to Aches in the back. Bomb trying to get in position. Frag out, and that one's going to connect most likely. Does not get a kill. All four still up in here. He's done well. We got two more players rotating. One on the flank is Crim6. And it looks like TP wants to be the first into the action. Eggs still trying to trade some kills in America. Eggs did so well to get out with his life, but watch out for that one player from EG on the flank. That's Krim's gonna be tagged. Krim. And oh, look how close TP is. is. TP's going. Stop the bomb. That was a big play, and no one was actually playing back till the other two on four. Now make it three. And Fizzer, last man standing, can he pull off the miracle one on four? Well, it'd be huge. There's one kill. He recognizes that there should be someone around that American side. So he's arguably one of the best SCD players on the game. Oh, he can't see him. He's running out of time as well. And there's the kill Grim. from Crim6. And that is going to be EG coming out strong in search and destroy. TP said they needed to shut down Fizzer. And he still managed to get double kills. I was going to say, they didn't shut him down, man. He is still averaging right. 11 kills a game. Absolutely ridiculous plays from him. It would have been so fitting for him to get a 1v4 at the end. But no, not to be. And that is going to be EG now. Two maps to O oh, in the lead. And that's best of five. And it all comes back to that two-on-two -two with Spaceway and Fizzurp to me. When Spaceway just didn't know where to go with that bomb. You can tell right. they're a bit disorganized, not used to playing with each other in that situation. If they would have rotated over to A and got that bomb down, what would have happened with that game? I'm cur I'd be curious to know what the, the call-outs were when that play was going down, just to, just to hear what, what was being said, whether the, you know, Fizzip did say, oh, try and get A, or the space they made the call, there's a couple of plays in post, and Fizzip tried to give the flank, but, I mean, obviously we have the, the wonderful tool of being able to see the minimap of and all the players running around, so we knew that A site was wide open, but either way now, SB have such a hard task ahead of them. All right, well, guys, during the commercial break, if you're a strictly business fan, it's time to send the boys some love. They're going to need it. Blitz, game number three is coming up next, live from the MLG X Games Invitational.